everybody, my name is Jenna, and I might look a little bit pale in this video because I'm in a new location and I don't have all my lights. I have a big window and it's winter. I'm pale. So I just got back from an audition, so I'm all dressed up nice and looking cute. And I was like, I should make a video. I probably should make a video. I haven't done that in like, I haven't made like an actual me just talking to you video in like quite a while. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna chat, we're gonna have a conversation. You and I, we're gonna talk about something that I think is a little bit important and it's on here. What is new, everything. See that, you see that? That is Tyler Oakley and Michelle Obama. And I've watched this video once before and I personally was a little bit angry about it. Oh, cool. Not because of anything that Tyler did, because I like Tyler, he's great. So I'm gonna watch this video and I'm gonna pause it at certain times and discuss what bothers me about what's being said. You do you, okay. Tyler. Yes. All right. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Tyler Oakley. And I was a good student, okay. and I had a plan to go to a good college. Here, 57 seconds, I pause it, because she says she was a good student, she had a plan. If you don't have a plan, that doesn't make you a bad student. I don't know if she's just saying good students have plans or bad students don't, but let me just reaffirm the fact that good students doesn't mean you have to have a plan to do something with your life. You can be really good at taking tests and my head's chopped off. Let's continue watching, shall we? One oh two, I pause. She got into Princeton. Now a lot of people that I know have got into Princeton. It's a difficult school to get into, so like congratulations for you, Miss Obama, for getting into Princeton. But like uh I'm not gonna get into Princeton. Um and I personally don't want anyone to have their bar set high to think I will get into Princeton. Because I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not like Oh, I'm so dumb, feel bad for me. I'm not dumb, I'm smart. I just am not so good at schools and testing and things like that and there would be no way I would live, I, I would not be able to manage myself at Princeton. I could barely handle K-State. I'm not gonna be able to go to a very high up there school. Like it's not gonna be part of my life. I don't even go to college anymore. Resume video. Um, got my bachelor's in sociology and went on to Harvard Law School. Pause at 108. She went from Princeton to Harvard. <sighs> um, not everybody does that, and that's totally okay. Your kids in this country understand that you have to get an education beyond high school. Of course. Days. It's just not enough to get your high school diploma. Pause at 1.33 and let me calm down for a minute. What she's saying is if you don't get an education, you are not successful. If you don't get an education beyond high school, you're not successful. Um, let's do a little bit of a shout out to BuzzFeed real quick for putting this together. Um, let me just read off a couple of names and we can talk about how you don't have to go to college to be successful. Ellen DeGeneres, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Brad Pitt, Natasha Bedingfield, Steve Jobs, Oprah, Oprah didn't go to college, she dropped out of Tennessee State University, thinks she's doing okay, Bill Gates, F. Scott Fitzgerald, CEO of Whole Foods, John Mackey, Lady Gaga, John Lennon, Jim Carrey, Tom Hanks, if that doesn't make you believe that you can be successful even if you don't go to college, then I, I, I don't know what to say to you. Um, bye. Unless you're just like a super dude. Well, I went to college. You did. I did. Right. Pause at 1.38. Michelle Obama is surprised that Tyler Oakley went to college. He doesn't use, he like, he, ugh. I might get in big trouble for talking like this about the president's woman, but I mean, I'm just saying my opinion. I'm not saying that she's dumb or anything. That's her thing. 
cool, go for you. Um, that's not my thing. And it doesn't have to be your thing, it doesn't have to not be your thing. I'm not telling you to not go to college, but I'm saying if you don't know what you want to do, or if you don't think you want to go to college, then that's okay too. Uh, let's resume. Where'd you go? Uh, Michigan State. Sorry, nice. So my camera died, and I watched the rest of it, and I talked about it, and then I realized that I wasn't recording. And I also realized that my necklace was all jacked up, so I'm fixing it now. What about the money? I don't have that kind of money. I mean, Michelle, if you want to pay for me to go to Harvard, I will gladly go to Harvard for you. But I'm not going to pay all that in the hopes that someday I'll have it paid off and I'll have a better paying job because I know a lot of people who have degrees and they don't use them. I really, unless you plan to be a lawyer, doctor, something along, a teacher, something along the lines of like, they need a stable thing. If you're gonna be like an actor, a journalist, a, like an artist, I don't really know how necessary college is for you. You should be able to showcase your talent and that's what's going to speak for you. As always, that's just my opinion. Um, let me know what you think. Um, as someone who doesn't go to college, you know my thoughts. But I would really like to know what your opinion is on this subject of matter. Anyways, thank you for watching this short, short, short little rant video. I don't actually know if it was short. I'm just... It seemed short to me. So thank you for watching my little rant video, and I will catch you guys in the flip future. Catch you in the future. Whatever. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Subscribe if you want to see more rants, or if you want to see me make more dumb faces.